Okay, here we go. Uh, talk about share the learning today. I've been looking at a few Sienna conversion camping experiences. We're combining our own. We're uh, going to Agate Days, but uh, we're converting and remodeling, not converting, we're, we're not doing any build and taking our 2011 Toyota Sienna and making it into our um, camping vehicle for the weekend. This is where we're at now. Took all the chairs out, everything. We left our foldable chairs down in the back or the uh, retractable ones and then um, yeah, then we took the captain's chairs out and slid these rails forward as far as they could. Next is going to be packing it to get everything to Moose Lake and then build our camper. I think we have everything we need, although this is where we're sleeping, but more to come. I think we have good planning, and uh, now we are going to do our drive, and then we get to take it all out and make our bed in our camp area. Here we go. While well, we made it, got the window covers in, and this is how we have the bed set up. Generators going up front for the air conditioner. Refrigerator in the back. Supplies and the rest of the campsite in Odin. Anything to say about Agate Days? It's amazing! <laughs> this is a cool little campground, uh, Moose Lake City, City Campground and Park. And this is our area sharing with Britt and Aaron. We've got our nice little retreat area, picnic area and back here. And then our converted Sienna hashtag bedroom. All looking and feeling and feeling good and meeting our expectations. short walk from our uh, campsite to the park, uh, art in the park for agate days. Many vendors, music and food. We'll take a look and see what it looks like and show you and there's going to be some food options.
Miss Odin, tell us about Winky Dinky Donuts. How are they? Really good. What made them good? The sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm with Roger, who's been with Agate Days for a long time. But first of all, let's talk about the, uh, the Carl County Gem and Mineral Club. I've been in for 25 years. I'm the president of the club right now. And um, I put on the Agate Stampede. Well, yesterday I put 600 pounds of agates and $500 in quarters and halves in the two dump trucks that we spread along the streets. And Why two dump trucks? Uh, we used to use one. And as this grew to huge proportions, I mean, we used to have, say, maybe a thousand people down there, and now we, uh, we, uh, I estimate, three thousand. And because of that, we had to go to two dump trucks, more agates, okay. and uh, and all that. So it was just a, a logistical. I actually told that said we can't do three. <laughs> we don't have the room for it. We don't have the money to buy the agates for it. And then there's the cleanup on the back side. Yes, and uh, the city donates that, which is which is great. So.
just got done talking to Clay. I assumed the gray-haired guy that looked like me was the business owner, but no, it was Clay, his grandson, which uh, turns out to be pretty darn cool and so much passion for what he does and knowledge. Thank you, Clay. I'm with Clay, entrepreneur here at uh, Agate Days. Clay, give us a little background about your business. Yeah, so uh, our business name is LSA Nerd Herd. It stands for Lakes Pure Agates. Uh, and came up with the name when I was younger because a lot of people said, you know, it's kind of a nerdy thing. So I just kind of embraced it. Um, and so, yeah, we're here selling agates, uh, Lakes Pure Agates, as I said. So, yeah. How long have you done this? I have been doing this. So I started collecting when I was about, I would say, about 10 years old. So about wow. 10 years now. I'm impressed. So, yeah. Okay, rookie. What does a rookie look for in agates? Yeah, so um, we'll just use one of these for an example here. Let's do this one here. I think it's kind of a good example. Um, as you can kind of see, the husk is kind of translucent, waxy, um, and you're not always going to see the very uh, beautiful lines, you know, with some of these. You're not. That's not going to be popping up at you out of the dirt all the time. You kind of got to see that that waxy husk. It's going to be red, gray, brown. Um, it's going to be translucent. Um, it's going to be kind of glowing, especially if the sun's out. Um, you'll have a good opportunity to kind of see it glowing at you and um, sometimes you flip it over you see lines sometimes you don't so and where do you go to harvest your uh your yeah agates? yeah so um when i go finding i go in uh farm fields i think are very good make sure you get permission um and then gravel pits are a very ideal spot uh, i think a lot of people think that north shore is somewhere that you need to go or uh just somewhere around lake superior and that's not true uh, it's very picked over so you know, you're not gonna find a whole lot. Um, but like I said, farm fields, gravel pits, uh, rivers with a lot of rocks, or just decoration rock around people's houses or businesses are all good spots. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely.